Right, okay. The next thing we're going to have a look at is causes of deforestation in a tropical rainforest. So, at the top there is what the exam board want us to know. So the key idea on the left and on the right hand side, the specification content, the stuff you have to know. Okay, so what we're going to look at, case study of a tropical rainforest, we need to think about which one and whereabouts it is. We need to think about, is the deforestation rate going up or going down? We're then going to have a think about what are the causes of deforestation? So things like subsistence farming, commercial farming, logging, road building, mineral extraction, energy development, settlement and population growth. So that's, that's the things that we're going to be having a look at. Um, so let's have a see. So the first thing we need to have a think about is which country or which tropical rainforest are we going to be talking about? Okay. So the country that we're going to be doing gained independence from the United Kingdom in 1957, but didn't come up with a name until 1963. In this country, there is a large cave called the Sarawak Cave, and it's the largest underground cave in the world. It's in Southeast Asia. It's made up of peninsula, uh, Malaysia, uh, whoops, giving you a clue, made up of peninsula and islands, and the country of Thailand is to the north of this country. Capital city, Kuala Lumpur. There's a picture of that in the top right. So, where we're going to be looking at, as I said, Malaysia. So, this is a country in Southeast Asia. You can see it on the map. Natural vegetation in Malaysia is tropical rainforest. Roughly 67% of Malaysia's land is covered by rainforest. So, as a good introduction to any case study questions about uh, tropical rainforest there, you could use what's on the screen to put that together, your opening sentence. So, causes of tropical rainforest deforestation, that's what we're going to look at now. But before we can do that, we need to think about what deforestation actually is or what it means. So, you might have a bit of a guess or might have an idea of what it is, particularly looking at the word deforestation. If you think about it, it makes a bit of sense what that word actually means. It's going to be something to do with the forest. Uh, you've got D in there, D-E, which generally would mean getting less, decrease. So it's going to be something to do with getting less forest. So basically deforestation means the cutting down of trees, often on a large scale, and the permanent uh, change of the land use of that uh, land. So it could be changing it from rainforest to farmland. So deforestation is a permanent removal of trees or forest land. And it's done for a number of reasons. These are just in general. So cattle ranching, particularly a problem in uh, the Amazon, in Brazilian uh, Amazon. Settlements, uh, road building, timber needs, energy production, so hydroelectric power, plantations, for example, palm oil, forest fires. These are all different examples of causes of rainforest deforestation, so mining as well. Right, let's look specifically at Malaysia then. So there's some really good case study detail here. Commercial farming. Commercial farming is large scale farming. So done on a huge, huge scale. So in Malaysia, their main crop that they export is palm oil. Now palm oil is something that you're probably going to have heard of quite a bit, but not really know what it is. And it's an oil that comes from a certain type of palm tree and it's used in thousands and thousands of products all across the world and you can see in that picture there that's just a small percentage of uh, some of the products that palm oil appears in so it's in things like biscuits in uh, drinks like coke or fanta but also in makeup in soaps just about anything you can think of will have some sort of palm oil in it somewhere so it's estimated that palm oil is used in half of all supermarket products and Malaysia is the largest exporter of palm oil in the world. During the 1970s, huge areas of the rainforest were cleared for palm oil plantations. The Malaysian government, they offered tax incentives to companies 
um, which increased the amount of plantation. So basically they would say you don't need to pay uh, tax for 10 years, which meant people were more inclined to uh, start a palm oil plantation. Um, there's loads and loads of information about palm oil. You could have a look on YouTube at the banned Iceland advert, um, the Christmas advert from a couple of years ago, and that talks a little bit about um, palm oil. Okay, another uh, good bit of case study detail for Malaysia is population pressure. So this was, was another cause of deforestation. Between the 1956 uh, and the mid-1980s, there was a resettlement program in Malaysia that moved people from the overcrowded cities like Kuala Lumpur into the countryside. So over 15,000 hectares of tropical rainforest were lost. So basically what they did, the government thought, well, we've got millions of people living in these cities. We've got all this empty rainforest where there isn't anybody. Why don't we just take the people from the cities and put them in the rainforest? Which obviously means parts of the rainforest has to be cleared or deforested. Again, another good bit of case study detail that's specific to Malaysia is through uh, energy production. So energy production, um, like a hydroelectric power plant, is where they dam a river, allow a reservoir to build up behind it, and then they let the water through turbines, which generates electricity. And in Malaysia, they've created the Bakun Dam, which is in Sarawak. And it create, um, they create that hydroelectric power plant so that they could produce energy for the growing population. Now, it, hydroelectric power is pretty decent because it doesn't cause... Um, much or any pollution and it's a cheap and renewable source of energy however when they build the dam to stop the river from flowing the reservoir that's created behind the dam floods areas of land so in this case it flooded around about 700 square kilometers of rainforest basically that rainforest was then destroyed so blocking the river means that they can generate their electricity if they need to. However, large areas of rainforest behind the dam were flooded. And then a couple more uh, causes of deforestation in Malaysia. Again, I've tried to put some specific details in for you. Malaysia, the largest exporter in trop of tropical woods in the 1980s. And the way that they got the tropical woods that they wanted was by um, a process known as clear felling. And this is where whole areas of the rainforest were destroyed or cut down so that they could access the few trees that they wanted. So not all the trees that they were clearing were being used um, for logging, but whole areas were cut down. Mining, particularly my, uh, mining for tin in peninsular Ma uh, Malaysia, has occurred. So forests need to be cleared to create the mines so that they can access the resources, but also um, areas of forest need to be cleared or deforested to create the roads to access the mines. Uh, another example of a cause of deforestation in Malaysia is road building. So like I said, um, they need the roads to access uh, the mines, but also for logging. So, so I don't know that one. Once they've uh, cut down the trees and they need to then export them, they need roads so that they can get the trees out of the rainforest. So when the roads are built, areas of forest must be cleared as well. So all of those uh, different causes are what mean or what makes uh, deforestation happen in Malaysia. So the main points to remember and these are going to be the things that you're going to do your work on in a minute, is what is meant by the term deforestation and what are the main causes of deforestation in Malaysia?